Welcome back everybody. This is Mikey with Hologram, and this is the Hologram Dashboard 101 tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be going over the settings menu. So let's get started. As I mentioned in my last video, the settings menu is accessed through the top left uh, initial icon on your dashboard. So you can see that we can click on that. That takes us to the uh, sub menu for settings. You can see that we're on Mr. Simmons account, and you, here you have the account settings, billing, organizations, orders, and API. Below that uh, are going to be all the organizations that you're a part of. So we can see that Mr. Uh, Mr. Simmons is part of Team Hologram, Organization 1, and Demo Organization. And there's also the option to add an organization there. And then we also have a logout, uh, the logout button. So I'm going to start on the top with the account settings. Account settings are exactly what you expect them to be. First name, last name, email if you want to change that. Um, the change password option is there. So if you need to change the password, you can do it there. Uh, view settings are something that are unique to this uh, and allow you to see the devices that you've deactivated. So uh, if you have dozens or hundreds of devices, you're bound to eventually have a device that gets damaged or lost and you want that to be deactivated. However, you want to keep track of all your devices, even the deactivated ones. Click on that check mark, we'll add those devices to your device page to make sure that you can still see them. Lastly, we have the delete account button um, also here in the account section. Next, let's move on to the billing section. The billing section shows you all the billing information that you have. In the top here, we have the available balance. So you can see that Mr. Simmons has $49.75. And to the right of that, you have the balance. You can see that Mr. Simmons actually is working off of promo balance. Um, he has no pending charges, but those would appear down here as well. And it shows you the total available balance again. Um, in this same box, we have the Add Balance button. So if you click there, you can say, hey, add $10 and hit the Add Balance button. And that's how you would add more credit to your account. Again, Hologram works on a credit system. So you're only going to spend the credit that you have. Um, and if you don't have credit, then you can either add uh, the amount or we can talk about auto refill a little bit later in this section. So beside the Add Balance button, we have the Apply Promo Code. And here you can apply any promo code that you might have. Um, and hitting the apply promo code would actually add that to your account. So uh, nothing earth shattering so far. Um, the next section is actually one of the sections that I consider to be the most important and it's the auto refill section. And the reason why I encourage everybody to set up auto refill um, is because like I said before, Hologram works on a credit system. So you have a certain amount of credit on your account and every time you get billed, that credit goes down a little and eventually uh, your credit might go below zero. And when that happens, you're going to get an email saying, hey, in 24 hours, your devices are going to be paused because you don't have enough money or enough credit on your account. Uh, and then you'd have to go scramble and add your information. Now, if you add auto refill, every time your account drops below X, you're going to be adding Y amount of credit. So what I mean by X and Y is here, for example, every time Mr. Simmons account drops below $10, we're going to add $15. So that way we can ensure that Mr. Simmons is never going to be paused due to a lack of funds. So again, something I highly recommend everybody do. And now the cool thing about this is that you can tune it to your monthly spend or however often you want to get billed. So say you want to get billed once a month and you know you're going to be spending $20 a month. You can add $20 on your auto refill and you're going to be charged about once a month. So if you want to change it to weekly, you just look at your weekly spend and do the same thing. Below that is the billing overview. So here you can add a card. So if you guys have Amazon or eBay or uh, an Adafruit and SparkFun addiction like I do, you know all too well how to do this. So you just put the name of your card, card number, expiration, expiration year, that little secret code on the back, billing address, and you're golden. Um, below that is the billing email options. And this part is interesting because we understand that a lot of people don't necessarily do billing on their own. So a lot of organizations have accounting apartments and they need to forward bills. So in order to like save you that for email forwarding or make your life easier, we do give you the option to automatically add emails that are gonna get the billing information. And you can add as many emails as you want. All you have to do is separate them with a comma. So again, super helpful um, if you need to send your bill elsewhere. Lastly, we have the billing history. And in the billing history, you can see all the charges that occur and when they occur, as well as the amount. So if you ever want to, for example, take a look at all the charges on your account and cross-reference them to see what processes are, are creating these charges, you can do that. And if you scroll down, you have the option to view all, which shows you your entire history uh, with that organization in Hologram. Now, one thing I want to point out is that 
organizations all have their own billing page. So if you have a personal organization uh, where you have uh, all your personal devices, but then you have an organization for work, the billing page is going to be separate. So you can have your personal credit card on one and a company credit card on the other. Um, so while we're on the topic of, organi of organizations, let's click there. You can see that um, here we have uh, Mr. Simmons organizations. And you can see that uh, we did change Mr. Simmons' email, so we need to make sure that we verify his email. Um, but if you verify your email, that little uh, yellow box will leave. And here you can see that we have the option to switch to these organizations. Um, and I'll do that right after I finish uh, the next two sections. But this is where you would manage organizations, um, as well as create new organizations uh, if you want to do it from the settings menu. If I click on orders, you can see that we're going to have a list of all the hologram orders. So all the dashes, novas, sims, and data that you purchase are going to appear here. You can also see the details. So you can see uh, the sales tax, the shipping, subtotal, like what you ordered. So super practical just to make sure that you keep track of everything, uh, all the hologram things you have. And lastly, we have the API section. So this is very useful if you want to integrate with third-party services that require your API as well as the hologram REST API. So if you want to do something using a REST API, it's very likely that you're going to need your org ID or an API key, and this is where all that is listed. So now jumping back to organizations, I can go here to the submenu uh, option and click on demo organization, or I can go to organizations here and switch to that. And organizations in hologram are designed to allow you to operate with collaborators. So obviously, uh, it's nice to work alone once in a while, but for big projects, having collaborators is super helpful, and that's what organizations aims to tackle. So if I go to the organizations, you can see that the submenu is a little bit different. So we've removed a lot of the personal org information and added two new sections. So organization settings, which if you click on, will show you you have the option to modify the organization name and the org ID for the organization. So again, if you're trying to use uh, our REST APIs or to integrate with third-party services, the ID for your personal org is different than your custom orgs. Um, same thing as in the personal uh, org, you do have the option to view deactivated devices by clicking on the check mark under view settings. And the other difference here is that you have the collaborator section. And collaborators are everybody who has access to that organization. You can see that here Mr. Simmons has the success at hologram uh, account added as a as an editor. So that means that they have full access to the account except for deactivation, changing device plans, and billing. A level of security above that is manager, where you have full access to the account except for billing. And the highest level of clearance is admin. So you have full access to the account. Um, so depending on how many people you have on your projects, you might want to, for example, give people a certain level of access and other people certain other levels of access, depending on uh, what you want them to see or what you need them to see. So again, very helpful when you have large deployments. Um, you'll notice that this specific organization also has the orders and billing section. And again, uh, that's back to my point of custom organizations having their own billing page because you have the option uh, of putting different credit cards uh, onto different organizations, uh, giving you a little bit more flexibility in terms of what gets charged where and what is being charged for your independent different projects. So now I'm going to go back to the settings page. So to do that, I can switch back to Mr. Simmons' hologram. And you can see that we pretty much covered everything. So I just wanted to go over the fact that here we have account settings, billing, organizations, orders, API, the organizations you're part of, as well as add organizations, and the logout button. That pretty much sums up this video. But in the next video, we're going to be doing part one of the devices. So we're going to go over the main part of the device page. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.